So y'all know I'm on my wellness era. So let me introduce you to the clean water machine from Aquasana. Thank you to Aquasana for sponsoring this video. Basically, girl, they use a filtering technology that filters 78 contaminants while leaving the beneficial minerals in water. And in case you didn't know, you probably know this, but tap water is filled with toxins like lead. It has chlorine, pesticides, and more. And we do not want that, especially near our drinking water. So not only is it extremely easy to use, you just press the button. Since it uses power, it dispenses water five times faster, but it was also extremely easy to set up. And I like how it's small enough so I can leave it on my countertop, which just helps me on being more consistent and actually drinking my water. So Aquasana is holding us accountable. So I like to use it for cooking my lemon and water, especially when I'm on the go. I always have to have water with me. And if you know, you know, not all water tastes the same. So this water, I will describe the taste as being very clean and refreshing. It also smells clean, so I love that. If you're trying to stay on top of your wellness goals and drink great tasting water, then scan the QR code or click the link in my description to get 55% off all systems, $49 and up, plus free shipping. Do not say I didn't put you guys on. So I made it to the laser hair removal place. This is my first time ever getting laser hair removal. So I'm low key a little bit like nervous. Um, I'm also like anxious, which I hate you guys. It's something I'm trying to get over like anxiety because it sucks and I hate, you know, being anxious. So I'm a little bit nervous, but that's okay. I'm just gonna breathe. Hopefully it goes well. A lot of you guys told me it was worth it. So I'm trusting you guys. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. I'm starting with my underarms first and then I will be doing the rest of my body. So hopefully it doesn't hurt and it works because girl, I'm tired of shaving, especially my underarms. Sometimes they be getting like a little bit of like recent burn and also it's a little bit dark underneath. So I heard laser hair removal is perfect, you know, to get rid of all those problems. So yeah, guys, I'll let you guys know how everything goes. I am doing six sessions. Today is my first time doing one session. Um, I don't know how much I have to come and like wait in between. So I'll let you guys know everything in case you have never gotten hair, laser hair removal. I'll let you guys know how the process works. So yeah, wish me luck, a little nervous, but everything will be fine, you know? we're manifesting a good experience okay. honestly the underarms are the easiest to take care of okay um for the most part other areas like the sun exposure is the most important thing so you have to be careful with the scent okay but with underarms i mean they don't get yes. to see the scent so, so i'm fine it's okay. easy the gel is just for my handpiece to glide the handpiece also has a cooling effect so it helps with when like the heat starts coming in uh -huh. but we can take breaks anytime you want to do it okay so let me just put my glasses on and then like i said i'll start you off at a low setting if you don't feel anything it means that you're too low if you feel too much it's too high so it's just kind of like something you know okay i have to feel something exactly okay. but you'll see what i'm talking okay, about okay i'm nervous no no <laughs> You'll see, look, I'll okay. give you like a little patch test. Okay. Can you tell me? Oh no, I'm fine. It's good? Yes. Did you feel it or not really? Not really. Okay. Let's try this one. How's that? Nothing? Nothing, yeah. So look, I'm gonna put you up to this level and leave it here for your first okay. time, okay? And like I said, it's. 30 for now it's the 40 seconds but 40 it's super seconds. super quick okay i'll give you little breaks in between you can tell me if you need one sooner okay let's start it off okay. no i think i'm fine yeah, yeah right mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty it's easy. not that bad okay mm -hmm. it's pretty easy and so yeah um like i said you can put your origin right after this um the only reason why you shouldn't is if you have a lot of irritation or redness okay but honestly most people don't really get too too irritated it's normal to have some redness and like little bumps but it should go away by the end of the day okay um and so you can shave as often as you like as long as you're not waxing or plucking um some people decide to just shave when their appointment's coming up some people like to still shave every day it's it's your preference okay um 
so I can shave up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can. And so also, if you are prone to ingrowns, just make sure you're exfoliating two to three times a week. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Okay. I came here because I want to get a new pillow because mine are completely flat. So, yeah, let's go find that. You guys, there's already lots of fall things at TD Maxx. I honestly don't know how to feel. I'm excited, but I'm also, you know, a summer girl. But look at all the fall things. I love the fall aesthetic. Guys, I usually see this book on Amazon. Here is $70. I think that's how much it costs on Amazon. I'm not too sure. But it's really pretty and I love the color. It's a good like coffee table book. They also have other ones here. Shopping really is rewarding when you use your TJX Rewards credit card. Every time. It's too flat. This will flatten out very quick. Okay guys, so I made it to my Botox appointment. I wanted to show you guys my before. That's what it looks like. I'm always going like this. I guess I'm always surprised. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna get that and also my masseter. Forehead and then labella, which is right here in the middle. Okay. And then we're doing your masseters, which are the ones that you grind okay. with. Yes. Um, and then we're doing a lip flick. Yes, okay. So, so everything. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like crow's feet. It makes you nervous, the actual poke. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, everything makes me nervous. Okay. But remove my. So I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect you. Which okay. I like your lip gloss, which one oh, are thank you wearing? You. It's the lip liner from Refi. Okay. I forget yeah. the name. It's like a nude, the, the lightest yeah. color, that one with a little bit of just the buxom lip gloss in okay. the Russian. Yeah. In Russian? That color. one. And then remember no exercise for 24 hours, bending over for four, and lying flat for four. Okay. Then giving everything a few days to fully kick in. Usually Botox will kick in within two full weeks. But you're gonna start to see a difference in a week. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you just feel a little bit mm -hmm. sensitive and it's probably gonna make you tear up. Hey guys, it's Taisha. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. There's a lot of things we need to talk about. I know it's been a while. I know I went like completely like I just left and I told you guys I was gonna be more consistent. My content this summer was a zero. I'm aware of that, but you guys, I've been going through a loss. I hate talking about it because it makes me emotional and I don't wanna get emotional. I recently lost a family member, so I've been trying to spend time with family and just deal with this whole situation you know i'm doing a lot better now even though it doesn't look like i am but i definitely am i just been spending time you know trying to heal i guess you can say and just trying to start it's like it feels like a new like chapter if that makes sense let me get myself together i don't want this video to be sad do not be sad for me you guys because you guys know me i will not come back to youtube if i'm not feeling good like if i cannot get it together i will just you know disappear and come back when i feel better and now i feel better it just feels like i am ready to come back again and be consistent and do what i love which is youtube and doing my makeup and talking to you guys about anything you know about life about beauty about fashion and this time around we're talking a lot more about life which is okay you know this is a part of life all these emotions are a part of life and honestly you just notice how quick life passes by and how short life is you just realize the things that matter the things that do not matter the 20s girl being 20 in i am 25 and i feel like a lot of things happen when you're in your 20s you're trying to figure out yourself you know you're just dealing with a lot i usually do not my voice is getting a little bit shaky i usually do not like to talk about 
you know, this deep of things, but I feel like why not, you know? A lot of us are going through a lot and it always feels like like you're not alone, you know? It's always a good feeling to know like if she can do it, so can I. If she can get back up and keep going after her dreams, so can I. I hope I am able to help someone out there to, you know, get back up. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on your dreams everything will be okay and there's time for everything you know there's time to you know take some time off think rebuild yourself and all of that and there's also time where you need to show up for yourself and you know do things that make you feel better and that's definitely what i'm doing so yeah guys i am feeling very good to be back here i am so sorry i you know haven't said anything to you guys but i'd rather deal with my things in private i'm a very 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 private person and honestly the older i get the more private i get which i love to be like that but i also love to share the stuff i want to share and talk about because i don't want to put all my problems into you guys you all have problems as well but yeah i want you all when you watch my videos to feel the positive vibes and to feel good energy at the end of the day you always have to you know get back up even if it feels like everything's falling apart i feel like when that feeling is happening just better things are aligning for you and everything will make sense eventually so yeah that was like my little ted talk i just wanted to do another self-care video they always just make me feel better and just put me in a good mood to film these videos and also to watch them i just love maintenance and just like getting myself together it always just makes me feel 10 times better my nails are already done as you guys saw i got botox i also what else did i do i did laser i was extremely nervous but honestly you guys things in my head it just makes it a lot more like scarier and when it happens i'm like perfectly fine so it's just my head everything was amazing my laser experience has been great nothing burned and nothing hurt maybe when the more because when you go they start you very low so i feel like maybe when you go up and up you know the little numbers maybe it'll hurt a little bit but i'll keep you guys updated with that if you guys have been considering getting laser definitely call around do your research and check for a good price and like a bundle deal that's what i did i'm also going to be doing my legs i think next because i honestly i didn't find it like to hurt at all and i am tired of hair i'm tired of shaving so i think i'm going to do my legs next and then if i feel comfortable i was telling her if i can like be brave enough i want to do my whole bikini area but i was telling her i am super shy i never got any even waxes so yeah let me know if you guys have gotten any laser down there your experience how it has been for you but yeah i did laser i also did botox i was a little bit when you get your botox let me tell you something go hydrated and go with food on your system if not you might feel a little bit dizzy make sure you bring a snack and some like apple juice or any sort of juice so you don't feel lightheaded but I did my forehead and this is what it looks like now. You see, there's not really much. I still like how I can move my forehead, like my like head area, but you don't see all the lines. And then I also did my masseters, which for masseters, you don't see any effects for like a month. And my masseter helps me out a lot. I've been getting that done. I think I got it the first time in like in 2022. Yeah. And I really liked it. Make sure you go to someone that knows what they're doing. I cannot express this enough. No matter how little something seems, you always want to make sure you go with people that know. And, you know, go with a nurse or even better, a doctor. But, yeah, do your research. Do not go to somewhere random. You know, you're injecting something at the end of the day to your face. And that can be dangerous. So, yeah, guys, loving my results. I do not get my forehead done. Honestly, I get it like once a year. It's not something I like to do too often i feel like the older i get the more i'm starting to need it and i just like to not see lines you know because when you apply makeup you can also see them so i'm loving that and also my lip flip i don't think there's like a huge difference it just looks like i'm wearing a little bit of lip lighter that's the only difference i've seen but girl that pain it feels like you know when you have a pimple here and you try to pop it that's exactly how it feels. I wouldn't say it's like a hurtful, like you're gonna cry, but your eyes get watery. It's that feeling like you feel uncomfortable and a little bit like, like that. That's like the best way to explain a lip flip. You go like that. So that's actually how it went. 
But other than that, I like the result as well. I don't know how y'all be getting the filler, honestly. I feel like that would hurt a lot. The only place I have filler is on my chin and it has helped me just elongate it a little bit because I do have like a very brown head and like a double chin a little bit. So it helped me out a little bit. It's not gonna completely get rid of it. It's just like I just have a brown face and it is what it is, you know. Um, it's gonna stay like that because I'm not getting any chin lipo anytime soon. So yeah, I'm happy with everything and I just wanted to be honest with you guys when it comes to that as well. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. Yeah guys, thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you for your patience and you know, your support all these years really do mean a lot. I know again, like I said, I haven't been consistent and I just haven't given you guys what you guys should be, be receiving. So I'm definitely going to be working towards just talking to you guys more and just you know doing the stuff we like to do and talk about makeup fashion you know whatever you guys want to see from me i'm definitely open to those ideas but yeah guys happy to be back sending you guys all my love all my positive energy all my healing energy and yeah i just hope this summer is treating you good and if it didn't it's okay next summer will be better and you know maybe it will be our fall maybe our this fall will be our season and you know there's always gonna be better days that are coming i've been loving like i have, have, have fallen in love is that even a word that's not a word but i have fallen back in love with the color brown i don't know if you guys remember i think it was like in 2020 i was like in love with the color brown i'm in that era again i love brown i want everything to be brown so i'm gonna show you guys some cute pieces that i got from revolve i did some online shopping i just want to get ready for the fall time so let me show you guys what i got everything is from the brand halsa and it's a little not even a little bit it's very like expensive to me but their pieces one of them was on sale so i figured i will try it out this way i'll let you guys know if it's good quality or not so i got this pair of pants they seem nice quality got them in a size large hopefully it fits because i got it in a size large and i don't know if this brand is small or if it fits large that is the brand right there the pants seem really nice and thick the blazer is also on sale so i might pick it up if i like the way the pants fit but you guys see this beautiful chocolate color i just love i have a purse right here that is super similar so i feel like this with like a cute little my top would be really cute so yeah girl I also got this linen top and this i got it in a size small medium Okay, this is very nice quality. I'm glad I got a small medium. Hopefully it's not like too tight because I did want this to be oversized. And you can wear this with some jeans. You can wear it also like a little bit more like professional. I personally got it because I want to wear it with jeans. They also have its own matching set. But I'll show you guys because I... I'm going to show you guys how I usually do my thumbnails. One of you guys actually told me you wanted to see more like behind the scenes, like how I create my content. And I couldn't show you guys that because I haven't been like consistent. So there's nothing to really show you. But now since I'm going to be working again, I'm going to be a working girl again. I will show you guys how I do that. But usually on canvas, I like to do my thumbnails there. there and also I like to plan outfits there. So that's usually what I like to do. So right now, I have all the pictures of the outfits that I got. So I have this and also the pants. And then that's how I create outfits around it. So I know what I have on my closet. And I know I can style it in many different ways. Because that's something I am intentionally doing. You know, if I'm going to be spending my money, it's going to be on stuff I can wear over and over and over again. I also did splurge on some new shoes. You guys, I'm not usually a designer girl. I love, love, love fashion though. I love luxury fashion. Just the bank account ain't matching, you know, <laughs> that just yet. But, you know, we're manifesting. We are working towards that. So, yeah, I got them on sale and I am happy to show you guys what they look like. So, this is the box. I think they're going to be perfect, perfect, perfect for the fall time. But this is what the shoe looks like. I don't know. How should we name her, guys? I have no idea. 
but she's just such a beautiful nude shoe that you can wear with this if you wanted to you can also wear it with the brown pants of course and you can wear casual more fancy you know up to you but yeah these are the heels not too tall they are just beautiful i love bottega i love 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 everything that they create well not everything some things like a little bit ugly but i love the style of bottega i really love the purses it's just everything about this brand i would say it's one of my favorite ones i also really like alaya it's another one that i love but yeah bottega just always does it for me like i love it this is what they look like from like at the bottom and then the shoe so beautiful i got them in a size 38 and a half and they fit great i think they're a little bit tight but i feel like once i wear them they'll stretch out a little bit so yeah that is the stuff i got in so far for the fall time there's still lots of fall shopping i want to do and tons of different hauls hopefully i can do a star haul for you guys because it's been a while since i filmed one and i always love doing like styling hauls it's just my favorite type of video to film so yeah little bottega shoes let me show you guys some pr that i got i'm actually going to be doing a little giveaway on today's video so i'm gonna put like a little goodie bag and send it to one of you guys so all you have to do comment below your instagram handle with a heart yeah let's do a pink heart your favorite pink heart emoji and your instagram handle and that's all and i will pick someone in around a week so yeah and i'll announce it on my instagram so you'll know it's me and you know it's official but yeah i feel like y'all deserve little goodie bag so yeah got some pr from lawless which is one of my favorite lip plumping glosses these are the colors i think this is part of their new collection this is the collection right here yeah i love this brand if you guys haven't tried it you can find it at sephora their glosses are a little bit sticky but they definitely give you that you know that plumping effect this is such a pretty color all right bon bon that's the color very pretty and kinky yeah thank you so much to lawless and thank you so much to all the brands that take time of their day to send me anything and also thank you to all of you because without any of you girl i wouldn't be getting anything so yeah i also did get the overnight lip plumping mask i really like this collection i will link it below because i feel like it's a very nice everyday collection to have in your makeup routine got some products sent from buxom which is another one of my favorite lip glosses brand i love the white russian it's not russian guys it's the white russian that's the color i like so this is a new and limited collection from dolly's glam look how pretty so yeah congrats to her and this is such a pretty collection i love the vibes i love the color everything it's like a really nice mauvey pink color so this is pink crush then i also got a power line in midnight sparkle which is like a liner and then a lip cream it's a very nice like darker purplish color and this is what the eyeshadow looks like again beautiful lovely mauvey colors i have to do my makeup with this eyeshadow palette selena can look she always kills it such a pretty girl um this is what they look like i already opened all these things by the way i took pictures from my instagram so this is the color light beige i feel like this is gonna be a good color for all over my face in the shade almond so basically it's a weightless tinted powder that does it all it blurs smooths and reduces shine and it sets makeup as well and then here it's a cute little powder puff this is so cute you guys it's perfect for traveling as well always make sure this is so cute always make sure you have everything in separate bags because when I went to Puerto Rico a couple weeks ago, I put my brow pencil, thank God I did this, I put it in its own little like pouch and it completely melted. The humidity over there when I went was insane. So it melted off my brow pencil. Yeah, this is the new powder from Rare Beauty. I cannot wait to try this. Please ignore how dirty my computer is. 
but this is what I like to use to not only edit my videos but also to do some like styling know what I have know how I can you know mix and match and stuff like that so these are the new things that I got so this is the black top you guys see how it has its own matching short I'll see if it fits if it does then I will get me the shorts as well and these are the pants so these are the heels that I got this top is also something that I ordered and then the jeans I already have so you see I can move it back and forth see if it looks good I feel like this outfit looks good as well even this looks good let's see with that mm, kind of I feel like this is a little bit too wide I'll probably do other shoes, maybe something open toe when it comes to this outfit. But you guys see how I can like mix and match and see what I like. I wouldn't wear these two things together because the material is different. But oh yeah, look, that's how I do it. That is how I do my outfit. Even when I don't have the item, I will still put it here and see if it's worth buying it. I'm telling you girl this is a way also to manifest i'm not even gonna lie you can put things here that you want that you wish to have one day look at it every single day and you know work towards it i feel like it works it's a little bit of magic but of course it's a lot of hard work but yeah i just wanted to show you guys how i do some of my outfits that you guys see and that you guys will start seeing because this fall season i definitely want to do tons of different hauls for you guys so i'm about to start doing my hair so this is usually something i like to do I, I try to do it once a week but honestly sometimes i forget to do it but i'm going to show you guys one of my favorite hair oils for hair growth and i also like it it just leaves my scalp feeling very like hydrated and clean so this is the rosemary mint infused with biotin and encourages growth so this is a little product right here that I love. I like to use this basically all over my scalp and then I like to massage it. So this is what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to listen to some music and just set the vibes. Honestly, I need this self-care day. Today is Saturday, by the way. But I need to start going up more because girl, how am I gonna meet my husband? And then I like to like massage it in. And this feels so good, especially after wearing a bun. Feels amazing. My makeup looks a little bit splotchy right here. I noticed it because I was gonna start editing and I noticed it looks like I have like a dark mark. Pretend it's not there, okay? But I think it's the new skin tint that I use. It like stayed on a patch that I have here. Just put it on like a little bun and then I'm gonna wash it off in like 15 to 30 minutes. I'm also going to be removing my makeup. So I either like to use this or I like to use the Verse one. So this whitening strips, I absolutely love and recommend. So I get them from Amazon. They look like this. They are whitening strips that are made out of natural coconut oil. So I like to use them for like 45 minutes. And I like to do this probably like once a month, not too often because then I'm gonna be left with like no teeth. But <laughs> I like to use it leave it on for 45 minutes and i noticed such a huge difference when it comes to whitening and they do not make my teeth sensitive and then i've also been using some lash serum that i also get from amazon i like to leave it here so i always see it and i do not forget so this is the brand get it from amazon i like to use it for my lashes i feel like my lashes are low-key growing right and then i like to use it for my brows which y'all know I ain't got brows, but hopefully this will fix my brow problems. Right now, I don't see a difference. I see a difference with my lashes, but not with my brows.
I'm gonna take a little bit of my Josie Maran, the original pure argan oil. I really like this brand. They have really good products. Their body scrub left me with like a inner glow, you know? And I just enhanced it with the other products that I use. But yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit, just a little bit of oil, just so I don't cut myself. I like to shave my face once a week. Okay, so this is how my hair turned out i don't think you guys can see how shiny and how sleek the straightener made my hair and also the products that i use i'm gonna set you guys right here but yeah guys this is the hair i'm gonna add a little bit of hair oil this one is from bread it's called the everyday gloss i wonder why they called it bread that's an interesting thing <laughs> also you guys for the white and strips i removed them after 45 minutes and this is the result. I really love the way they widen my teeth without making them sensitive. And they come with a little shard. Let's see, this is a shard. I would say I'm like a five, right? Hopefully I can get to like a three. Well, yeah, girl, I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I wanted to show you all how these pieces look like. I am wearing underneath a nude bra. I'm wearing my faja that I always like to wear. Y'all know I'm a faja girl. So yeah, I feel like fajas really do change up the look and they just make you look very snatched. So I'm wearing that and then my nude underwear, which is like my foundation. I wanted to show you guys how the pieces look like just in case you know you are thinking of buying them. I don't know where to look, okay? This is my first time ever setting up my camera like this, so I don't know where to look at. This is what the top looks like. It's a very nice linen top. I feel like everybody needs a good linen top in their wardrobe. So I highly recommend this one for the fall time. And then for the pants, I am wearing a size large. I feel like they fit perfect. I really like the length of them. They are tall girl friendly. They don't really do much for, you know, the back area, but that's okay. I feel like it's okay to wear loose fitting clothes. Not everything has to be tight. So I really like them. Maybe a size medium would be a little bit more like snatched. I really like the quality. I like how it has pockets and the detail. This whole brand just gives you that like model aesthetic. So this is another way you can wear the pants. I feel like you can see the pants better this way. This is very casual. I'm wearing this Amazon top and I just love this look. And I love a good faja. You see what I mean? It just gives me shape. The only thing about a faja is that it will give you like little rolls here. I need to come up with like a very nice thick bra that is just like a faja but like for right here, you know? But it's not that bad. So I'm wearing my little brown bag the Amazon top, and then the pants. So very cute. Guys, I'm so glad I left my crazy lash era. I remember when I used to wear very like dramatic looking lashes. I don't know why I would do that. I don't even have the eyes for that. Like this type of lashes work better for me because they open up my eye. The other ones kind of made my eyes look very small. The skin tint, I think today looks better. It could have just been me and the e.l.f. gripping primer. I think for the skin tint, you do not want to use any gripping primer. You just want to make sure you moisturize and use very like dewy products since this is very mattifying. It's like a skin tint that sets by itself. So you want to make sure you apply more serums and products like that so it doesn't leave you looking splotchy. Just went in with the powder side of the blush just to blend everything so i've really been liking the kylie cosmetics this is in the shade cinnamon so i've really been liking this lip liner i always like to go back and darken up my beauty my beauty blender my beauty marks I'm going to go in with the MAC in the shade Creme the Nude. I 
MAC lipsticks will always do it for me. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Huda Beauty lip gloss. This is in the shade, let's see, Sugar Baby. And it's like a really nice pinky color. These Huda glosses are like very glossy, so I love that. And you've seen the T3 curling iron. I love, 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 love this curling iron. It comes with different barrels, so whatever look I'm going for, I can just change it. And I don't have to buy a lot of different curling irons. Since it's the first day, I don't like to add hairspray. I just like to let it like fall on its own. I did go in with the Nooks body oil, by the way, which is one of my favorite ones because it gives you a very nice glow, but without that stickiness, you know? So this right here is the final look, you guys. This is what everything looks like, the hair, the makeup. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I feel like I needed to do, you know, an eyeshadow look. I haven't done something like this in a while. So this like re-inspired me. I'm actually going to end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all the products that I use for this look in the description box below. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful, amazing day. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support and being there for me and being the besties that I always wanted and, you know, prayed for. Just thank you guys. So yeah, beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.